Hey guys, it's obviously with my house bidding you welcome. I'm filming this on my phone at the moment, so sorry if it's jerky. <laughs> um, sorry about that. I'm sure some motion sickness that just happened, but I do have a lot of pickups to show, and unfortunately my regular camera is on its last legs at the moment, so I have to film on my phone. It's been having some really bad issues, like it won't hold a charge anymore, or I'm like having to reinsert the memory card. And, and uh, you know it's had some issues if you're a long time fan for quite a while and I think it's finally time to retire the thing and I'm just going to film on my phone until I can, I don't know, maybe I want to get a new one, maybe I'll just film on my phone from now on, who knows. I just hope my phone doesn't make me look, <laughs> I just hope it doesn't make me look too pale, it's like, a, I've got a tan, it's just... Maybe it's the lighting, maybe it's the camera, I don't know. Alright, so let's go to the pickups and I'll show you what I got. Alright, so there you see a little bit of an overview. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have focusing issues with this camera, my phone, but... Oh well, I want to make a video and I shall make it, so... First things first, and probably the biggest pickup of this week... Dark Souls 3, the biggest pickup, the one I'm most excited for, and unfortunately the most expensive. This was not cheap. This came out two days ago. I've logged about 15 hours into it already. I've been playing this basically whenever I'm not working or doing anything else. So it's very good. I will probably make a video after I've finished it, kind of detailing everything that's happened in the game and kind of give my final opinions on it, but it's very, very good so far. And it cost me a hundred bucks. Yep. That's how much a full retail at least costs in Australia, and I... It's the kind of thing where you can't price match it because it's in like a steel tin and it's a exclusive edition, so... Whatever. Alright. The other pickups in this are from... About a two week period, I'm not exactly sure where to start. I was gonna go left to right, but I'm gonna start from chronological order. So first things first, not last Friday, but the Friday before that, I think, <laughs> I don't remember. I went to the Logan Tip Shop, which on a Friday is also a, also, is always a happening place. It's always very fun to go on a Friday because um, there'll be no less than 50 to 75 to sometimes 100 people lined up outside the place waiting for it to open. And then when it opens, they all rush in and grab the stuff. You know, it's the kind of place where they actually have security and they kind of need it. Like, I've never seen a fist fight at the place, but I've seen quite a few arguments, stuff like that. So I went in... Wanting to grab a lot more than this, but hey, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. And uh, the last few times I've went, they haven't really had any video game stuff. I don't know if someone behind the scenes is grabbing it, or if they just haven't been getting any in. I haven't thought to ask, but the only video game related item in there was a... I'm not sure where to... F like, I... I want to... Uh, bring it towards the camera to show it, but then it's like I get to the side of it. Excuse me. So, I guess I need to get where the camera is. Alright. I had a battleship thing there. It's a little toy. Two bucks. See, it works. And it's battleship. Based on the hit board game. So yeah, I don't find too many handhelds, unfortunately. I would love to get a few more of them. Also found for 50 cents... WWF WrestleMania 5, the Mega Powers explode. This was a great WrestleMania. It's pretty topical because um the last WrestleMania just happened and I watched it with a few mates, we had some drinks, and we were very happy with the show. <laughs> we don't watch a whole lot of wrestling anymore, but you know, when WrestleMania comes around we like to keep up to date. Let's see what we have here. Um I'll look for some names I know. Heart Foundation. Mr. Perfect, um, the Bushwhackers, I remember them. Uh, Shawn Michaels, Marty Jannetty, Bobby the Brain Heenan in a match, uh, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, I know him. Uh, 
Brutus Beefcake and Ted DiBiase. I didn't know them. Demolition, they were awesome. Ultimate Warrior vs. Rick Rude. God damn, that's got to be a good match. Jake Roberts vs. Andre the Giant. That's awesome. And the Mega Powers explode. Hulk Hogan vs. Randy Savage. Aw, oh, yeah. That was 50 cents. I had to pick that up. Just had to. Very cool. I also found a DVD there for two bucks. Uh, Moby Dick. I like Moby Dick. <laughs> the book, the movies, I just like the story. It's a great story of man versus nature and the futility of it all. So, um... I guess I'll show you my Andrew Pilly finds. Yep, I bought a box of empty chocolates from Indrapilly Cash Converters. Um, actually, no. I... A lady in Cash Converters told me that she had bought a PlayStation. A PlayStation Slim. She paid a pretty hefty price for it. She said she paid around 60 bucks for it and it didn't come with any e-controllers or cords or anything. And I was like, oh, that's cool, that's nice. It's like... When someone gets a bad deal on something, I never ever want to tell them. Cause like, if they're happy with it, then it's cool. But I decided, as a kind of token gesture, like a gesture of, I don't know, goodwill maybe, I would bring her the cords and a controller for the PlayStation 1. And I did that, and the next time she saw me after that, she gave me this box of chocolates. And has all the classic flavors on there. The chocolates aren't in here anymore. You can deduce for yourselves what happened to them. But yeah, it's just like kindness repays kindness, and you know now I'm better friends with that woman. It's all good. All right, we got some movies here. I'm just going to rapid fire through these because like no one ever comments on the movies I get. I like them though. We have DC Universe, Green Lantern, Emerald Knights. For a dollar. Avengers Age of Ultron, this is a pretty recent release. I saw this in cinemas actually. Very good movie. Jurassic World, another very recent release. I also saw this in cinemas. Um, I saw this in cinemas twice actually. One by myself and one with friends. It's so, so good. World War Z, I've been meaning to watch this for quite a bit, basically since it came out, but. You know, had to find it cheap on DVD. And the one I really wanted to get, Mad Max Fury Road. I saw this in cinemas, thought it was really, really good. And I just really wanted to get it on DVD or Blu-ray at some point, because I wanted to rewatch it. But basically, <laughs> these three are the only movies I went to the cinemas to see last year. And now I have them on DVD for a dollar each, so pretty happy. Pretty happy. Also got some games. Imagine that. A video game pickups video with games. First off, for five dollars from my local cash converters, we have Assassin's Creed Rogue. I wasn't going to pick this up, but I looked on the back and saw that you can pirate the pirate ships. And I really liked Assassin's Creed Black Flag, so I really wanted to grab this one after I saw you could pilot the pirate ships. That was my favorite part of Assassin's Creed 4. We have another one for the Midas collection. I'm not even going to let it focus. We have Boxing Champions. I'm going to put it back a little bit just so you can see everything. And I'm reading it through the camera, so if it seems like I'm reading really badly, I am reading it through the camera. Boxing Champions, the text is too small on my phone to read it. But it's a Midas title. I definitely wanted to get it. Going for that full Midas set, I will have it one day. This is one I really, really wanted to get. This is one of the first games I wanted to get when I heard about the full Midas set. You know, I looked up all of the games, I was like, yeah, this is one I really want to get. It's Extreme Express. It is a Midas Touch release. Yeah, whatever. It's a Midas Touch release. And it's about racing trains. Isn't that metal? Can you imagine racing a train in real life? That would be extreme, man. That's awesome. Uh, I might actually try that out. 
uh, after this video because I have the day off, so definitely want to play that. Dynasty Warriors 3. I'm not the biggest fan of Dynasty Warriors, but I have 4 and 5, so it's like, in my mind, I have to get the rest of them. It's the hoarder mentality, man. Two bucks. Micro Machines. Great game. Always a lot of fun. It's been released to every system ever. Didn't have that version, though. Alpine Racer 3. I looked at this, I was like, this looks like a weird budget title. Kind of want to grab it just to see what it's like. And I like to play odd budget titles like this because then I can get a better appreciation for something like SSX or SSX Tricky that really do this well. You know, you gotta look at the bottom to really appreciate the top. Shadow Man, Shadow of Apocalypse. It's odd spelling. <laughs> um, I don't think I have this game. It's like, if I have this game, I've never played it, or I got rid of it at some point, so I don't think I have this game. Uh, cool one to get. I like Superman. Still need to see Superman vs. Batman at some point. This is one that I uh, used to rent all of the time from my local Video 2000, my local rental store, back when they were still in business, rest in peace. But, um, it's just a really good game. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the PlayStation 2, it's a solid beat-em-up, and I only had one controller at the time, I had no memory card, so... I'd get to a certain point, I would die, and because I hadn't saved at all, I would have to go back to the beginning of the game, so... I rented this like three or four times, trying to finish it. And... Patrick Mickey, I have your game, bro. Come get it if you want it. <laughs> nah, it's mine. You got rid of it, it's mine now. But yeah, cool game. I would like to get all the Ninja Turtle games on PlayStation 2. Some of them aren't that great, but it's like, I have a few of them, so I kind of want all of them. Smuggler's Run 2, Hostile Territory. If you've never played the Smuggler's Run games, they're really good. They're a lot like, um, GTA, except you can't get out of your car, so... And I say a lot like it because the driving in GTA 3 is basically taken from this game. It runs on the same engine. So it's a really good game. Definitely check them out. Under two bucks, why not? Another game for the Midas Collection. I may have this one already, but I wanted to grab it just in case I didn't. We have Air Ranger Rescue Helicopter. Another one owned by Patrick Mickey. He really likes his airplanes. Must have been stoked to get this game. Um... I think I've played this one before, I don't think it's very good, but it's a helicopter rescue game. It's like you go to disaster situations and you rescue people in your helicopter, and it's like, that's a cool idea for a game. It's the kind of game you don't really see these days. You know, it's not something that would be a big budget release, and this one wasn't a big budget release either. I guess we don't really get these kind of games anymore, the uh, death of the smaller budget games. But oh well. That's why you can go back and appreciate these even more. Alright, so... Uh, I guess we'll start... Uh, I guess we'll go up these ones. I went to the Fortitude Valley Cash Converters. Just yesterday, actually. And found this stuff there. I went there last week as well and didn't find anything. Unfortunately. As I said, this is two weeks worth of pickup, so that was multiple trips to my local Cash Converters. And it's not been the best two weeks, but it's like, I found stuff, so I'm happy. We have Il 2 Stemovic, Birds of Prey. Three bucks. Good deal. Um, don't have this game. Wanted to give it a try. Not a big fan of these, like, flight games, but it's a game by 505 Games, so I wanted to give it a try. They usually make pretty good games. Oh, this is a great one. I've been looking for this one for a while. Lord of the Flies, and it's not the one you're thinking. This is the 1990 remake. I never, ever see this version. So I definitely had to scoop it up. Love Lord of the Flies. It's such a good story. 
It's something that you're made to read as a kid, but because you're a kid, you don't really understand everything that's going on in it, so, you know, to revisit it as an adult and kind of explore what you were missing out on, it's so good. Heard this version isn't amazing, but I'll definitely check it out. Transformers the movie, I had a good chat with the guy at the counter about how fucking metal this game, this movie is, it's so, so good. He was talking about some of his more nostalgic movies, how like they still hold up, like um, how he saw the Digimon movie and the Pokemon movie recently, and he was like, yeah, they're kind of absurd, but, you know, it's a movie. It doesn't have to be 100% realistic. <laughs> it's, But yeah, Transformers the movie, I had this at one point. I don't know what I did with it. That's my thing with my movie collection. Sometimes I'll get a title, then I'll get rid of it, and I'll be like, huh, what happened to that game? What happened to that movie? I used to have that. But yeah, I do that a lot. But, cool to get this back. Three bucks. I like this movie. It's a great movie. Great theme song, too. Um, Who are the guys that do the theme song to this? I don't remember. Oh, well. And one that I actually wanted to get for a while... I had this movie back in 2009 when it came out, because it was a X-Rental title, it was always really cheap, and I finally got it back. It was... Splinter! It will get under your skin. For three bucks. It's a pretty good horror movie. It's about a monster that relies on uh, splinters to uh, infect its host, and, like, um... Say there'll be a jagged piece on here, it'll latch onto that, and you'll prick yourself on it, and it'll infect you from there, so. It's really cool, and once it's infected you, you kind of become this, like, splintered monster, like, as you see there. Have, like, a hand of all of these things rising out of it. It was, like, it was really cool. I remember this being so good. So I definitely want to check that out again. I remember watching this with friends, man. Yeah, we watch this all the time. So, I want to check that one out again. And we have... Ugh. Sorry, it's a bit messy here. Not messy, it's just like... Kind of dirty. There's a lot of dust. I haven't dusted for a little bit. We have... Games from EB Games. And they were having a sale. As you can see, 2 for 20, 2 for 10, 2 for 10. But... It was a weird thing about their sale. I went in and as I was grabbing stuff that was in the 2 for 10 pile, I said, oh, you know you can mix and match stuff with the 2 for 20 pile and we'll still give you a discount on it. And then they said, oh, actually it's 2 for 8, not 2 for 10, and 2 for 15, not 2 for 20. And I was like, well, that's a lot to wrap my head around, but I'll grab what I want and bring it up to you and you can give me the price at the end. Just to show you I'm not bullshitting, like, um, see here, the... Ones that are usually 2 for 10 are now 2 for 8. The Grand Turismo 5 is for 4 bucks, you know, Dragon Quest Monster 2 was 4 bucks, and then I mixed and matched that one with that one to get the Dragon Quest Monster first one for $7.50, and I was like, I didn't really understand it completely, but I just ran along with it, and I went to a few cash, cash loaders, to a few local EB games to kind of take advantage of and grab titles that I wanted to get. So for $7.50, we have Dragon Quest Monsters Joker. This is a spin-off of the regular Dragon Quest games that is a little bit like Pokemon from what I've heard. I haven't played it myself, but I will at some point. I've got a lot of stuff to go through, play and watch, so this is unfortunately going to be on the back burner for probably quite a while. Same with this title, Dragon Quest Monsters 2, which got for $4. Very cool. Don't you love sometimes when the first game is pricier than the sequel? In the 2 for 10 deal, or 2 for 8 as it were, we got Fracture, something I wanted to try out. Gran Turismo 5. The Shoot. I like these move games, they're pretty fun. I got a move recently and I've heard nothing but bad things, but like, I'm enjoying the games on it. We have Darksiders, one that I really wanted to try out for the longest time. I played this at a internet cafe back in like 2011 and thought, yeah, this is awesome, I'd love to give this a try. And I have been looking for it on the cheap ever since. We have Rage. Homefront, which I tried for a bit, it's pretty good. 
And finally, Just Cause 2, which is the... Which is a uh, reacquisition because my copy was super scratched. So it's nice to get one that isn't beat to hell. Alright, that's all the pickups I have to show. The only thing I have to show left is the online purchases, which is all of the Vita stuff I've gotten. So I will split this video and we will show that. I just realized I said we will show that. Who's we? As all of you should know, this is a one man operation. A poorly run operation going straight into the ground, but still a one-man operation. I'm a one-man band, baby. But I have some PlayStation Vita stuff. Nothing amazing, but I'm going for the full PlayStation Vita set. There's not a whole lot of games in the set, so I still want to get it. Ooh, and I found out the PlayStation Vita will have been in production longer than the Wii U. And it's outsold the Wii U. So... Good job, PlayStation Vita. <laughs> I'm actually really happy about that. <laughs> it's like... The PlayStation Vita is something that no one gives any love to. And like, everybody praises the Wii U as being this great system. It's like, yeah, it has Mario, it has Zelda, it has all the great games. But no one gives love for the Vita, so it's I'm pretty happy to have found out that the Vita not only outsold the Wii U, but with the Wii U going out of production at the end of the year, that this will have been in production longer. I guess that's not a great thing, because it's like then, you know, people won't get to play the Wii U, and people like to play the Wii U. I like to play the Wii U at my nephew's place. It's a fun system. It fucking whoops me, though. I will be playing Mario Kart. He knows all the bloody secrets. Alright, we have Need for Speed, Most Wanted. Not the best game, unfortunately. It looks like a very, very early release PlayStation 3 game. Ben 10 Galactic Racing, same kind of deal, but if you like your Mario Karts, similar. I had to print out my own artwork for this. What is that? Yeah. Oh, it came loose. Came loose, and that's the wrong game. Which means that it must be in my Vita. What are these online? So I got this weird Battleborn Collector's card as well. It was off the EB Games website. It was one of the like 2 for 20 deals, I'm pretty sure. But this and the other one came with generic artworks. I had to print my own, so that's why it doesn't look as nice as the others. FIFA 14, which I think I got for less than $10 shipped off the Cash Converters website. It's FIFA. This was the other EB Games title I got. Little Big Planet! Marvel Superhero Edition. I did want to get both of these editions. I had to print out my own artwork for this. I think it looks fine. And Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham, which was pretty sure it was under $15 shipped. So, you know, not a big fan of the Lego games, but when you're going for a full set, unfortunately, you have to collect the chuff as well as the diamonds. So... That's going to be it for this video. This is Secret of My House bidding you farewell, and I hope you enjoyed. And that's all, folks.